Hello again and welcome to another tutorial. This time I want to give you a quick helpful tip on getting rid of these horrible bright areas in your imaging when you're imaging. Um, this is not going to be like, you know, this is the very best way of doing it. This is just a sort of quickie tip which you can use um, on smaller areas, on bits that are irritating you that you don't want to do the whole hog on. Um, and it's just a quite quite a quick and easy way of doing things. So I've got here a, a JPEG image of the Andromeda Galaxy and here you can see what I'm talking about, this horrible bright area here. So this is a way of quickly and easily getting rid of areas like this. Best for smaller areas, I'm just using this uh, example here because it's a good way of showing you what I'm talking about. So as normal we start off with um, our background layer, which is what this is, so we've got to duplicate that by dragging it down onto the little icon next to the bin, which gives us our new layer called background copy. Then what we want to do is we're going to go up here, I mean normally you'd be using your, your pointer, but we're going to go down here and we use the lasso tool. So click on the little lasso, and you've got your lasso tool. And then all you want to do is just select this offending bright area and you just want to just go on just on the outside where it's dark and then come in a bit you don't have to be too fussy about this just like that and then the next thing you do is go up to select and modify and you feather that selection by 30 pixels it's a fairly big selection like this 30 pixels is about right and say ok Next you go to Image and Adjustment and uh, I'm going to use Brightness and Contrast here. You could use Levels, you could use Curves, but Brightness and Contrast is quick and easy and it's the one I often use when I'm working on areas like this. So move the Brightness slider down and you can see there's matching that up to the stars um, in the background there. And then move the contrast up a little bit just to give you a little bit of contrast in there. So you've got it like that. And then say OK. And if you just click outside of your image, you'll deselect that. And there you go. Now that's, you know, there are better ways of doing this um, and getting rid of gradients, uh, gradients in your um, image, which I will do a, a bigger and longer tutorial on that one. But this is just a quick and easy tip get rid of those little areas because sometimes there's little areas just in the corner or little bits that you just think it's just that little piece and you can just use your lasso tool feathering it and then doing it like this to uh, get rid of it. On bigger areas obviously you might want to select your stars as I did in my first tutorial and make a star um, layer on its own to protect those but it's very handy with just these uh, say small areas um, and you can also use it if you select an area, so I don't know, a little area there that you want to colour up. You could just lasso around that, select your feather, um, modify that again, and then just apply one of your colour filters to that, and you'll get just that little area there. So it's quite a handy little tip, and one I use like quite a lot. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, here's the difference, as you can see. Nasty, nasty, and uh, be gone, horrible offending light. Okay, so... Uh, Hopefully you enjoyed that and we'll see you in the next tutorial. The uh, next one will be about removing gradients gradients, and uh, that will be quite a big one so I look forward to the challenge. Okay, all the best and thanks for watching.